This is a fan. And this is a better fan. Actually, it's an electric ducted fan, or EDF as the cool kids like to call it. The EDF is pretty powerful on its own, but I say, let's go all the way and add some combustion to this bad boy. After burner. It's an additional combustion device that reheats the exhaust gases from jet engines to generate additional thrust. Like I said before, an EDF is an almost jet engine. So I wonder, what would happen if we added an afterburner to it? This might work pretty well, but let's just drop the mic and say, this works pretty well. As usual, I wasn't the first to think of this concept, and a lot of people try this on the internet. I am on the path of a second version of a turbojet engine, and this seems like a very good practice. So let's go over what I'm gonna need. Um, I'm gonna need fuel, a fuel line, a fuel injector, ignition, a flame tube, so the combustion is not put out by the intense wind coming from the EDF, and a transparent enclosure. Yes, I'm going transparent with this one. I'm too curious not to pick inside. I went with a thick acrylic tube that I believe will be protected by the peripheral flow of air. I cut it with 30 centimeters using this fancy adapter that I 3D printed a while ago. And that was it, basically. Next, the flame tube. The flame tube is just a tube to hold the flame, so I got a tube and I snapped it. I didn't really. I cut it with a saw, but I wanted it to look cool. To create some turbulence that allows the air to slow down and thus make combustion possible, I cut the tube vertically so I could bend it and create some fins. And that's it. That was actually pretty easy. What wasn't pretty easy was making the fuel line slash injector. I had to bend the brass tube using the power of fire, and it's customary for me to mess this up. The reason why I have to bend it is so I can use only one continuous tube to guide the fuel and disperse it into the flame tube. To disperse the fuel properly I drilled 5 1mm holes, barely. It is very important to disperse the fuel, but it's even more important to ignite it. Let's talk ignition. I normally use a spark plug to ignite the fuel-air mixture, but this is always complicated because it forces me to generate high voltages which is not easy to accomplish with a simple setup. So this time I used a glow plug. A go plug or incandescence plug is a method of ignition used in diesel engines, where you pass a big electric current through a filament to make it really hot, like in a light bulb. I got one of these plugs and I gave it a test. Okay. Oh boy, that's hot. Oh, that's really hot. Okay, let me see if it can uh, ignite the gas. Oh, it can. Pretty well. I would call that a success. Yeah, I still don't have a way to mount it on into the flame tube. I need to find a way to do that. I really needed to find a way to connect the glow plug to the flame tube. And because of the intense temperature coming from the glow plug, I was not getting away with 3D printing an adapter. But then I thought, I have a CNC machine now. What if I machined an adapter in aluminium? So machine I did. Kind of. You see, machining aluminium is not easy for a CNC newbie like me. It took me a few tries and some depressing failures to get it working. The fact that I was super scared of the machine didn't really help. When this machine is cutting metal, it sounds like a mad cow on a killing rampage. Anyway, I eventually got my adapter. Can you see it? It's my first machined aluminium part. I mean, it's not super pretty, but come on. Oh, and it, it fits pretty well. Look, I just need to clean it up and I have the part that I needed. How awesome is that? I love CNC machining. Okay, let's test the ignition. Ooh, I can already see it. It's getting red. And now, fuel. Not working? Fuel. Oh, it works! Look at that! If I turn it upside down, oh, that's too much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shut it down. No. 
The ignition was working pretty well, but I was still delivering the fuel by hand, which is not very fancy. The radio controller that I was using to control the EDF has this special wheel thingy that is normally used to control the direction on RC cars, and to steer those cars is normally used a servo motor. Knowing that, I designed the fuel mechanism to press the discharging outlet of a lighter charging can. With all of that done, I assembled my EDF afterburner and gave it a test. So, this is gonna fit here, and this is gonna fit here. And if everything goes well, I have a jet engine, but this is the flame tube. Can you see that? The flame tube is gonna produce the flame. Yes. Testing the EDF. insane. Oh shit. Oh my god. I think this can is already empty. Let me check that. I mean it's not empty but I don't think the fluid is getting to the top. I think I'm going to mount this vertically, because like that I always have fuel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to mount this vertically. Oh, it's working. Stuck. I don't know exactly what happened, but the motor is not rotating. It's stuck. I think I killed the motor. This is no bueno. So what happened there is that I'm a moron and I was powering an EDF that can barely handle 12 volts with a 16 volt battery. As you can imagine, the engine went kaput. Where other people would see idiotic failure, I see opportunity. You see, on a turbojet engine, you don't really use a normal fan to suck air in. You use a centrifugal fan. So this was a good chance for me to design one, 3D print it and test it. I designed one using SolidWorks and 3D printed it in PLA. To spin the fan I used this monster motor that has 2000 kilowatts of power. 
I know, it's an overkill, but if the fan doesn't work, at least I know it's not lack of power. I assembled the motor on the centrifugal fan and gave it a test, but unfortunately I forgot to turn on the microphone on the camera. Look at my stupid past self. He only had one job. Idiot. He was too anxious because the lunch was francesinha, which is his favorite dish. A francesinha is this Portuguese fancy sandwich that is drowned in gravy. It was created by a Portuguese cook a long time ago that was trying to copy the French croque monsieur, and he failed spectacularly. Anyway, I digress. What I was trying to say on that clip is that the motor is scary and super powerful. You can see the PLA impeller bending because of the radial tension. I assembled the fan on the acrylic tube and gave it a test. First test with a monster motor. I need my glasses. Uh, it smells so much like propane. Like so much. Why? Why don't you work? I don't know what's going on. That wasn't working pretty well. And I got to the reason pretty quickly. This is a centrifugal fan, which means it's not generating fast flow like the other fans. It's generating high pressure flow, which means I needed a constriction. So I cut a part of the big acrylic tube and attached the smaller acrylic tube. Let's go full throttle. Round two, tight. I'm getting out of fuel. I think I'm out of fuel. Are you out of fuel, my darling? I think you are. Yep. Empty. I need to change this. New bottle. That's no bueno. This project is filled with failures, successes and lessons to learn. Before I move on to making the second version of the turbojet engine, I want to make a more powerful version of this engine. And to do that, I'm going to have to get better with machining aluminium, preheat the fuel before it's injected into the combustion chamber, and most important of all, design a better centrifugal fan. This project taught me a lot, and I hope it can teach you as well. As I mentioned before, I'm sharing all the 3D files in the description of the video. And if you don't have a 3D printer to print that files, don't worry, I'm giving you a chance to win one. On my last video I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was TonyKid360, and he suggested that I could mount a small chemistry lab to concentrate my own peroxide. That sounds safe. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go eat a Francesinha because jet engines make me hungry. Stay tuned because the next video is about brackets. And remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya!